So many good animated movies have been coming out lately, and sadly the ones that came out during quarantine kind of went under the radar. It's so funny how much people hyped up having a Croods 2 just for it to never be talked about by another human being. Oh, and if you haven't seen Croods 2, I suggest watching it, because I actually really liked it. I'm not always a fan of the stupid internet savvy type stuff, because it's so far from actual real life internet that you just know the producers are stuck in 2016, and this song being in the trailer does not help their case in the slightest. But it was so appealing to my eyes that I just brushed it off. And it, it had a good meaning in the end. But now in 2021, animated movies are coming back, and people are actually gonna watch it, I think. And that's what this movie is, The Mitchells vs. The Machines. When I first saw the teasers for this movie, I was for sure it was going to be a fun road trip movie, and I was pumped for that fact. I love road trip type stuff in art form any day. It's so nice. But then I looked in further, and from the looks of it, it just looked like an animated version of one of those iFunny books. I'm so sorry. You cannot tell me this logo doesn't look like a James Patterson elementary title. But I did watch it, and I'm never gonna judge a book by its cover, so let's get into my review. Okay, I am just blown away. I should have never made any assumptions because this movie is absolutely gorgeous looking. That's right, downright unbelievable. There are scenes in this movie where you get the same feeling as eating all the candy in the world without your stomach aching. Now of course, I expected this coming from, you know, the creators of Spider-Verse, but man did they surprise me. It looks like a graphic novel turned into a movie, and I love graphic novels, so I'm gonna take it. Spider-Verse does kind of have that look, but that one's more comic-like. This one had a more cartoonsy vibe of comics. Also, the style of this movie kind of gives me Gravity Falls vibes. Which is also funny, because Alex Hirsch was in this movie. Uh, pop off, King. Now to say the plot is amazing, I would be lying. It's good for a children's movie, but boy was I disappointed that they had to do the whole we know children's the these days, we are hip thing. Like, might as well just have made the movie a kid doing a Fortnite dance and have an Among Us character pan across the screen. But like I said, the style of the movie just thankfully drowns out the hip stuff and the fact they got Doug the Pug to be in this movie. Why? And the other thing that drowns it out is the absolute perfect casting. Looking at these characters, there is no better voice that would fit them. Also, getting Maya Rudolph to voice the mom is literally genius because she just sounds like the perfect middle-aged mom, and that's probably because she is. But this kid, on the other hand, they kind of missed the mark. He sounds 20. Unless they were going for that, they should have got, I don't know, Jacob Tremblay, or even Tom Holland would have sounded younger. And although I would have loved a road trip movie, it thankfully does have that, it does keep that kind of vibe with the futuristic stuff. Like, I know the whole robot thing is just overdone, but they did it in a way where it's funny and you can laugh. Now, some of the jokes just kind of feel like they're written by me, and then some of the jokes are actually really good. Like, I saw somebody on TikTok the other day just laughing their head off at just, just like, just like the most generic joke in the movie. There are definitely way more better parts than that. Damn it.